Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to place a auto image slider in your Android application. Here we have an example. Here we have some auto image slider. I create this slider using view picture. This slide contained five images. Here we have some dots. The dots also updating based on the position of the image on the slider. Now we are going to learn about how to place a widget similar to this one in your Android application. Here I create an Android Studio project that contain a view picture with five pages. I will show you the project output. Here we have a view picture that contain five images. If you want to learn about how to create a view picture with slide images, I already create a separate video for that. You can find that video link from the description of this video. So the first step, we can make the slideshow. We can make the automatic slideshow. For that, inside main activity, I'm going to create a separate method. I name it as create slideshow. For that, here I create some variable. I need some variables for timer. Now I need another variable, it's an integer. Current position. I initialize that variable with the value 0. Okay. So first here I create some variables for handler. Now create some variables for a runnable. Inside run method, I'm going to check some condition if variable current position equal to Five. That means the maximum number of slides. So here I access the size of the array list. In that case, I update variable current position into zero. Now we can set the current item for the view pager. So pager dot uh, set current item and pass the current position after pass the position I update variable current position by one now the second parameter is a boolean uh, you need a smooth scroll uh, we can pass true for it okay so now the runnable is ready now we can initialize the timer so timer equal to uh, new timer now we can schedule the task so timer dot schedule so here the second parameter is the uh, delay for start the task so here i pass 250 millisecond delay for starting the job now you have to specify the time period between two slides so here i need a 2.5 seconds So now we can uh, submit the task. So handler dot uh, post and pass the runnable. Now we can call this method from the on create method. So after the after set the pager adapter, I'm going to call that method create slideshow. Create a slideshow. Okay. Now we can check the project output. I run the project. Uh, 
Okay, now the slideshow is working. This is the last slide. So here, when it reaches the last slide, it automatically scroll back to the first one. That is not a desirable thing. Here you can see, when it reaches the last slide, it automatically come back to the first one. So we have to fix that problem. The solution is, we have to make the slide infinite. That is the solution for, the, for this problem. Uh, so we have to make some update on the view pager adapter. So here from the get count method, we return size of an array list. Here it is 5. So instead of return size of an array list, here I am going to uh, return some infinite value. For that here I use the variable integer dot max value. So here we return some maximum integer value. So now the uh, slide become infinite. So now here I create uh, some an another variable uh, custom position equal to zero. So now from the instantiate item method we have to make some change. Here I check some condition if custom position greater than five sorry four because we have only five slide. In that case, we update variable custom position into zero. Uh, now, instead of passing the position, so here in this statement, uh, we get each object from the array list. So here we use this parameter position. So instead of position, we are going to pass our variable custom position. And we are going to increment custom position by one. Now we can check the project output. I run the project again. Second one, third one, this one, fourth, fifth one. Yeah, it's not moving. Yeah, we have to update inside the method create slideshow also. So here we check the condition. Uh, if current position equal to slide slide list dot size here it is five here i change this one into uh, integer dot max value now it will work we can check it uh, check it again first one second one this is the third position fourth one this is fifth one yeah now we make the slide slideshow infinite so now we can make the uh, dots the selection dots at the bottom of the slideshow here the dots are image views placed horizontally on a linear layout first i am going to place the linear layout in activity main.xml after the view pager, I am going to place the linear layout width into much parent, height is wrap content, specify id for it, I name it as dot container. Uh, specify gravity into center. Uh, margin top into 50 dp now specify an orientation here we need horizontal orientation so this is the container for the dots okay. so now we need some color resources here we have we need two colors for active and inactive dots so open values open colors to xml Here I place two colors. The red color is for the active dots and the for the inactive dots. Okay. So now we need to make some drawable for the dots. 
So right click the drawable folder and create a new drawable resource. I name it as active dot copy this namespace. The selector is no need. But I'm going to play some shape. Now specify the shape into oval. Now specify use level into true. Now specify the diter. Diter into true. Inside shape, specify another attribute, size, and draw it height into 8 dp. This is the height of the dot. Now specify the width is also 8 dp. Now we can specify the color for it. So we can use the attribute solid, specify the color. So this is for the active dots. So this drawable specify the active dots. Now we need another drawable for specify inactive dot. Create another drawable resource file. I name it as inactive dot. Copy the statements from active dots. Here change the color this one inactive dots now we can create the dots programmatically open main activity first we can create some variables for the linear layout i name it as dots layout Now initialize that variable dots layout. This dots container. Now create another variable. I name it as custom position. Initialize that variable with the value zero. So now I'm going to create a separate method for prepare the dots and name it as prepare dots this method need one parameter current slide position okay. so you will first for updating the dots check some condition if uh, dots layout dot get child count is greater than zero that means there is already image views are available in that case we have to re remove all the available image views from it so dots layout dot remove all views now create some array of image views image view i name it as dots it's an array new image view now it starts some for loop int i variable i equal to 0 i less than 5 because we have only 5 slides and i plus plus now we can create individual image view objects dots of i equal to new image view pass the context now we have to check the condition if i equal to current slide position that means that is the active slide so we have to make the dot active so dots dot uh, dots of I don't set image drawable context combat dot get drawable dot drawable 
uh, get the trouble for the active node. So this is the active node, else it is inactive node. Here it is inactive dot. Okay. So now we can create some variables for the linear layout params. Uh, layout params. New uh, layout params. Now specify the uh, width and height. Layout params in view group. Now uh, I specify that one into wrap content. Now specify height. Specify that one also wrap content. Okay. Now we can specify some margin for the layout params. So layout params dot set margin. We need a 4 dp margin on left and right. So we can specify this one like this left 0. That is top. Now right side for now bottom zero okay so now the layout params is ready now we can set the view on the container so dots layout dot add view pass the child view here it is dots of i now pass the layout params Okay, here we have some error. Here we have to specify the size of the array. Here it is 5. Okay, now we can call that method. So after set the adapter, I'm going to call that method uh, prepare dots and pass the variable custom position. After pass the variable, increment that variable. Okay, so now we can check the program output. I run the project. Okay, now the dots are available. Now we need to update the dots based on the image slideshow. So for that here uh, we have to add some uh, listener for the view pager. So pager dot add on page change listener. So we can get the current item position on this value on this method on page selected. So from this method also, we are going to call that method. So here first, I'm going to check some condition if uh, custom position greater than 4. In that case, we update custom position into 0. Now we can call the method prepare dots pass the variable custom position after passing the value we increment the value by 1 now we can test the project I run the project again now here the dots are updating based on the image slide so this is how we place an automatic image slideshow in our Android application. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. If you have any doubt or suggestions, please mention that one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.